Hi guys, um, Ollie back again. Three videos in one day. Pretty happy, pretty well. Just, um, yeah, you anyway. know. This video is kind of like a, um, a sequel to my previous video. It's not really been uploaded yet, so it's not really previous, but when you see it, it will be. Um, it's rock, and it's going to be about Apple's new notebook computer product line. That's what I'm getting at. Yes. Um, they are reintroducing all of their nap notebooks, as far as I know, from my sources on the in internet. Um, some of them being John Flakers, fantastic guy on website, knows what he's talking about. Brandy, fantastic. Um, who else? Not really Chris, I like Chris Brenner, but no. Um, just internet, macrooms.com, David the Creative one's really good, all of these people are fantastic. Um, yeah, so check them out and give them a buzz, whatever, do what you want. But, um, this is my video about the notebooks and computers. Yes. So, I'm going to start off at the bottom of the range with the MacBook. Well, okay, technically the MacBook Air is a lot of the range, but yeah, you know, I'm getting that. Um, the cheapest, the MacBook. It has previously been black or white, um, matte kind of finish, a bit like the old iPod Nano, but not a scratch of that. Um, yeah, you know what I'm saying. That kind of finish, but that's the black anyway, and the white is like the white one. Um, I really like them, but unfortunately, they're going aluminium, from as far as I know, and they're going tapered. Apple's kind of having like a tapering, tapering bonanza. Taping their iPhones, taping their MacBooks, you know, whatever. Who knows what's Apple's, what kind of stuff Apple is making, but it's probably great stuff. Um, yeah, so they are doing, redoing the MacBooks with different casings, um, nothing really major to change them, except for the cases, which is major, but there's no internal crap which has been changed, I don't think. Um, yeah, so that's kind of like a boon to your face. The MacBook Air is where the internal changes I think are happening, more or less. I think they're going to try and speed it up a bit. Well, it was fast, but that was only because it wasn't running on a lot of stuff to run, if you care what I'm saying. So the more run we have, I mean, the more hard drive space and more kind of rubbish and crappy, like you have in your thing, the more RAM you need, and then you need to run it. So the smaller there is, the less you need. So it's kind of like a ratio game. But yeah, but they they're going to install more stuff over everything, I think, and to make it a bit better, keep up with times. Um, so that's really good. Um, yeah, just speed bumps on that. Like I was, it's already tapered and it's already aluminium, so they don't need to do anything else to it. But it's mainly speed bumps. Um, get the gigahertz up and all that lovely stuff. Um, but MacBook Pro is where well, the big changes are happening, in my opinion. They are adding, I think, I might be wrong, I probably am wrong, but, you know, I'm kind of new to this whole video and information stuff. Um, I think they're going to add HD to their MacBooks to really distinguish the difference. Because currently, although in specs wise, MacBook Air is a lot on the range. The only difference between the MacBook and the MacBook Pro is CPU, I mean graphics, editing and all that kind of stuff. Like if you take the you okay, I'll do the I'll do the American store because most of you will probably be American. But the MacBook here in America starts at one thousand one hundred or one thousand nine hundred dollars. And the MacBook Pro Starts out $1,999, so you're paying um, $900 a bit of graphic head, a bit of graphic head. <coughs> to be honest, that's not really worth it. It's not really worth the bucks you're paying. So, 
as we're kind of making the distinction, I think they'll have the displays HD, probably 1080p, you know, and do it the best. Um, I'm, I'm, I may be wrong, you know, what can I do? I'm only human, but I think that's what's going to happen. Um, then this is where it gets good for me because I also I'm I'm not right. I think I'm going to get an iMac. Or I probably am going to get an iMac for my birthday, and this is personally appealing to me. How I ask this is kind of like shh, or it's actually been told to spread the word, but it's secret. You can't really t tell everyone, but shh. Um, John Falakers, as I already mentioned earlier has got a um got received an anonymous email from an insider Apple employee and he's got a screenshot of the new IMAX and um they look exactly the same but some of them are a bit faster, a bit kind of like in fact I'll compare this to in fact in fact I've got the Apple store loaded up right now for the US version. So I'll compare it to um I'll do the what else I do? I'll do the top 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 one, okay. Twenty four inches, three point zero six gigahertz. Same over here on the um Don Lakers, but on this one it's got three point zero six gigahertz Intel Core Duo. Same on this one, but this will happen. On the current um Apple website, two gigabytes of memory, four gigabytes of memory standard. 500 gigabyte hard drive with a one next to it. I just find out what that one means. One gigabyte. Oh yes, one gigabyte equals a billion terabytes. All that rubbish. Um, 750 gigabyte hard drive. So you're getting actually 250 gigs. Eight times double SD for drive. I think that's the same. Yeah. And this one you get an NVIDIA GeForce 8800GS with 512. Um, or RAM, VRAM, sorry, and this you get NVIDIA GeForce. Yes, exactly the same there. The current one you get at the end of it, and not the end of it there. So the current one currently costs two thousand one hundred and ninety nine dollars, and in the UK store that is one thousand three hundred and eighty nine. Now, here's where it gets really funny. Um, this According to this, you if you bought if you buy uh, the new iMac, you will be saving five hundred dollars for two gigabytes of extra memory and two hundred fifty gigabytes of extra hard drive space, and you're so you're getting that for free, okay? So say say you added that cost in. The two gigabytes would be about eighty quid, and the two fifty memory would probably be about another hundred. So you're spending roughly two hundred. You're getting three hundred dollars back, ultimately, for you American guys. You're the lucky ones because over here they overprice everything. Everything is a hundred pounds or two hundred pounds more expensive than it should be. But for my purposes, I put one thousand seven hundred and ninety nine into the changer. One seven nine nine, and for British pounds, it comes out as one thousand and seventeen pounds. I won't be getting that model because my limit is a thousand dollars, thousand pounds. Sorry, so I'll probably be getting the two point eight gigahertz. But that was fine. I didn't need a three point six. I didn't need a three gigahertz computer. But what would I use it for? I'm not doing anything crazy. I might do a bit of um, a video in game playing. Or maybe if I get boot camp, but that's about the end. I don't need. That's all I need. Thank you, Apple. Mm. I just hope this is true. I really hope this is true. So guys, spread the word. Tell it you came from Olzish. I'm always here when you do make more videos about well, stuff I haven't been studied yet. But um, basically, I've made three or four videos and they'll all come up all at once, which is a bit silly. But yeah, enjoy guys, I'll just out.